तो जैसे आप सबको पता है कि नेपाल चाइना के बीच में एक रेलवे नेटवर्क स्टार्ट होने वाला है इस रेलवे नेटवर्क को आपको पता है कि ये बहुत पहाड़ियों से भी गुजरेगा और ये ट्रैक जो है ऐसी जगहों पे बनेगा जहाँ पे ट्रैक बनाना मुश्किल ही नहीं नामुमकिन है वहीं पे ये बात आ रही है की नेपाल चाइना के बीच में जो रेलवे नेटवर्क स्टार्ट होने वाला है उसमें उसके लिए एक रेलवे ट्रैक बनेगी और उस रेलवे ट्रैक के बीच में एक बहुत बड़ा टनल बनने वाला है ये टनल जो है वो तकरीबन दुनिया की सबसे बड़े टनलों में से एक माना जाएगा तो चलिए देखते रिपोर्ट आपको बताते हैं फिर आपकी किस तरीके से ये टनल बनेगा और दुनिया के कितने नंबर पे ये टनल आएगा चलिए रिपोर्ट देख के फिर आपके साथ बात करते हैं दिस इज दाइस्ट माउंटेन रेंज इन दर्ल्ड Mountains and glaciers stretching thousands of miles across five countries, clouds and mist cover the mountain all the year round, like a majestic natural barrier. For nearly a hundred years, explorers and scientists have never stopped exploring such a natural landscape. But now, this mountain range will usher in a huge change. In this mountain range with an altitude of 8800 meters a Chinese construction team is trying to cut through multiple mountain peaks to build a highest railway in the world this is an unprecedented challenge for mankind and people are full of concerns about this project the difficulties faced in construction at high altitudes are unimaginable however all this is happening and the construction team with a huge machine has successfully excavated 1680 meters of tunnels So why did China choose to build a railway in the Himalayas? How did they manage to pull off such a huge project? Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to World Project and let's get on with it. In fact, the tunnel is only a part of the China Nepal railway. The total length of the China Nepal railway is 530 kilometers of which the Himalayas tunnel is 30 kilometers long the section of the railway in China is from Lhasa to Jilong county and the section in China accounts for more than 4-5th.it starts from the freight railway west station in Tibet China bypasses India directly passes through the Himalayas tunnel passes through Jilong town and finally passes through the China Nepal port After exiting the country, the railway extends to Kamandu, the capital of Nepal. In 1973, King Birendra of Nepal mentioned the China-Nepal railway plan when meeting with Mao Zedong, India, as Nepal's largest trading partner, has complained that the freight railway has greatly affected India's trade share in Nepal. But for Nepal, the construction of the railway is a rather urgent matter for Nepal. In the past few hundred years, since Nepal was a landlocked country, it was surrounded by India on three sides and only bordered on China's Tibet in the north. However, Nepal does not have an outlet to the sea; that is, there is no trade method of sea transportation. Most of the resources need to be imported from India by truck drivers through mountain roads. It can even be said that India directly controls the economic lifeline of Nepal. That I in order to get rid of this model as soon as possible, Nepal hopes that China can help them fulfill their wish as soon as possible. So why didn't China build the China-Nepal railway before? German engineers once analyzed that the China-Nepal railway is currently the most challenging railway project in the world, and its construction is no less difficult than the Lochberg Tunnel in Switzerland. In the 1970s, many people in China were still hungry. Their economy and railway technology were still far behind the world, and many equipment still needed to be imported from Europe, America, or the West. They are not qualified to challenge such a complex situation as the Himalayas, and Nepal is heavily in debt and it is impossible to finance the construction. At the same time, some environmentalists have raised objections. They worry that cutting through the mountains will reduce the stability of the mountains and destroy the original ecosystem. Therefore, the plan has been placed for a long time and has not been started. Until 2022, China's railway technology and equipment will make a comprehensive breakthrough. After engineer survey and terrain analysis, China has decided to invest 1.4 billion US dollars to start the project, and it is expected to open to traffic in 2025. So, what challenges were encountered in the construction of the Himalayan tunnel? First of all, carrying out the project on a mountain at an altitude of 4000 meters is very fatal to the construction personnel, and the oxygen content in the tunnel will only be less. In addition, the tunnel is dusty and humid. 
Workers need to wear dust masks to avoid breathing difficulties. In this case, it is necessary to select a group of workers with better physical fitness, and at the same time equip enough oxygen supply machines on the mountain to carry out tunnel excavation operations. In order to speed up the construction efficiency, China dispatched the self developed shield machine with the largest diameter, Jinghua Shield Machine. The shield machine has a diameter of 16.07 m and a weight of 4,300 tons. The whole machine is 150 meters long, and it can excavate a tunnel section nearly six stories high at a time. It is worth mentioning that its system is very advanced. While excavating the mountain, it can quickly transport the construction waste to the outside through the passage inside the machine, which greatly saves labor and time. On the other hand, the complex terrain and climate also brought a lot of uncertainty and danger to the construction. The Himalayas are at high altitudes, covered with snow all year round, and uninhabited. In the construction section, the neo-tectonic movement is strong, and irresistible disasters such as landslides and landslides often occur. In extreme weather, workers cannot start work normally, and the completion date of the project has been delayed. In addition, in order to allow the normal transportation of equipment and construction materials, China built a road leading to the Himalayas a long time ago. This highway is called the Xinjiang Tibet Highway. It is a road that passes through the highest altitude and is also one of the most difficult and dangerous roads in the world. During the construction of the highway, various mountain disasters broke out frequently, and the construction section was often flooded and washed away by the river and the project was basically paralyzed for a long time. It wasn't until 2019 that this 2,200-kilometer road, which crossed 14 mountains, was completed. With this road, the transportation of construction materials and large equipment has been solved. So how much does the tunnel cost? It is understood that the total length of the Himalayas tunnel is about 30 kilometers, and the average cost per kilometer is about 50 million US dollars. Interestingly, compared with the cost of the Lochberg Tunnel in Switzerland, the average construction cost of the Lochberg Tunnel is 100 million US dollars per kilometer, there is also the Goddard Tunnel, the longest railway tunnel in the world. The average construction cost of the Goddard Tunnel is about 198 million US dollars per kilometer. As of 2023, the construction team has successfully excavated a tunnel of 1,680 meters after six months of hard work, such an achievement, if the developed countries in Europe and the United States are allowed to build it, it will take at least a year or more. For example, when Switzerland was building the Lochberg Tunnel, it took eight years to complete the 35-kilometer tunnel, the Chinese construction team is expected to complete 530 kilometers of railways in 2025 including 30 kilometers of Himalayan tunnel. That's an astonishing rate, but not unusual in this country. The completion of the China-Nepal railway can be regarded as a timely assistance to impoverished Nepal. Nepal is 3,150 kilometers away from Beijing, the capital of China in a straight line. With this railway, the distance between the two places will be shortened from 3,150 km to 530 km, and it can be reached in four and a half hours. Of course, the railway can not only connect the three major cities in Nepal, but Nepal can also directly integrate into the Transasian Railway through this route. Transasian Railway is a railway connecting 18 countries in Asia, which will extend to Europe and Africa. With this freight railway, Nepal's trade exports can no longer pass through India. Fully able to freely dominate their own trade development. Do you think that by 2025, China will complete the project? Please tell us in the comment area, this video is shared here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, thank you for watching.
तो वीडियो आप लोगों ने देख ली इंटरेस्टिंग लगी होगी देखिए नेपाल चाइना के बीच में एक बहुत बड़ा रेलवे नेटवर्क स्टार्ट होने वाला है और इस रेलवे नेटवर्क से नेपाल और चाइना को दोनों को फायदा होगा इस रेलवे नेटवर्क से अगर हम देखते हैं तो तिब्बत वाले पार्ट में नेपाल को काफी फायदा होगा क्योंकि वहां से टूरिज्म नेपाल में आएगी और नेपाल एक टूरिज्म सोसाइटी के लिए बहुत बड़ा कंट्री माना जाता है जिसमें नेपाल को काफी ज्यादा फायदा होगा तो और अलग हम देखते ये जो टनल बनेगा ये दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा टनल होगा रेलवे टनल होगा और नेपाल चाइना के बीच में ये जो ट्रेन सिस्टम बनेगी ये दुनिया की खतरनाक ट्रेन सिस्टम में एक होगी क्योंकि ये हिमालय की पहाड़ियों में से गुजर के बनेगा और ये बहुत खतरनाक रेलवे नेटवर्क में से नंबर वन पे मारा जाएगा वैसे ये टनल भी दुनिया के नंबर वन पे माना जाएगा इस टनल के जरिए रेलवे नेटवर्क आगे बढ़ती हुई जाएगी ये रेलवे नेटवर्क नेपाल की काठमांडू सिटी से बनेगी और ये चाइना तक जाएगी जहाँ पे जहाँ चाइना से नेपाल ट्रेन आएगी और नेपाल से चाइना जाएगी वहाँ पे टूरिज्म सोसाइटी के लिए भी बड़ा उतरी मिलेगी और वही पे ट्रेड के लिए भी काफी मुश्किल जो थी वो भी सुलझेगी वैसे आप लोगों ने देख लिया नेपाल चाइना के बीच जो ट्रेड होती है वो ट्रकों के जरिए होती है बट जब ये ट्रैक बनेगा जब ये ट्रेन स्टार्ट होगी तो ये फिर ट्रेनों के जरिए होगी और ट्रेनों के जरिए ये लेना जाना ले जाना जो है वो सस्ता भी पड़ेगा और दूसरा ये कि जल्द भी पहुंचेगा तालुकात है वो और भी बढ़ती हुई जाएगी इस टनल के जरिए इस ट्रैक के जरिए